Hello and welcome to Soroxus classes. We move to the first passage in the ZAC 2020 paper. Now, uh, as we always do, we'll uh, note down the keywords as we go through the passage so that we can use those keywords to answer the questions without coming back to the passage. So let's start. The nature of knowledge, this is the first keyword, cannot survive unchanged within this context of general transformation. So the first sentence itself is giving the context of the passage, which is saying that knowledge is bound to undergo change or transformation because everything is changing. It then says it can fit into new channels and become operational only if learning is translated into quantities of information. So uh, the second sentence says that uh, it can change uh, and fit into anything uh, which is useful, operational means useful, um, and that will happen only if there, there is information that is uh, uh, gathered from, um, from knowledge, from the knowledge that is uh, being dissipated. Then it says we can predict that anything in the constituted body of knowledge that is not translable in this way will be abandoned and that the direction of new research will be dictated by the possibility of its eventual results being translable into computer language. So uh, the third sentence says that if it is uh, not translated into information then uh, it will be uh, it will be abandoned, it will not be useful. So if not, then not useful. And uh, everything will be translatable uh, into computer language. The producers and users of knowledge must know and will have to possess the means of translating these languages whatever they want to invent or learn so the producer and user of knowledge will have to uh, have the means of translating into these languages these languages means computer languages so uh, all forms of knowledge are now getting translated into computer language or computer languages um, and uh, the users uh, who are using this knowledge or people who are producing this knowledge, uh, they have to translate these into, uh, translate knowledge into these computer languages. Research on translating machines is already well advanced. Along the hegemony of computers comes a certain logic and therefore a certain set of prescriptions determining which statements are accepted as knowledge statements now what this says is uh, that uh, with the you know hegemony means uh, something which uh, um, is predominant uh, you know dominant over the others so along with the pre uh, dominance of computers um, comes a certain logic and which logic the logic is that uh, <coughs> there are certain uh, rules or certain prescriptions uh, set of prescriptions uh, that defines which statements can be accepted by the computer so uh, this um, you know has a, a rule based uh, process or a rule based algorithms which determines uh, what can be fed to the machine and we all know that right so different uh, computer languages have different syntaxes and you know uh, you have to translate uh, whatever information you you want to feed into that uh, computer in the language that you're fitting in by following those syntaxes so this is uh, what is being said in this sentence 
then uh, it says we may thus expect a thorough exteriorization of knowledge with respect to the knower that means someone who uh, who's knowledgeable uh, will uh, you know have to feed him uh, his knowledge in the form of uh, the languages that the computers understand so that means his his knowledge is no longer with him it is getting exteriorized or it is going out at whatever point he or she may occupy in the knowledge process so everyone has to uh, translate their knowledge to feed into the computer the old principle that acquisition of knowledge is indissociable from the training or building of minds this is a uh, there's a spelling error uh, building of minds or even uh, even of individuals is becoming obsolete so earlier it was believed that uh, the um, acquisition of knowledge or uh, you know the process of gathering knowledge it depends on how uh, you are trained in in that process so um, you know like in schools or colleges uh, you're being taught and therefore you learn certain things so uh, if that process was not there then you would not have learned all those things is what the, the earlier belief was now that has changed because now we have computers people can learn a lot of stuff uh, by themselves without going through a formal process so that is what it means so that means uh, so this means exteriorization exteriorization that means the knowledge is not confined with uh, a certain set of people and also the process of acquiring knowledge uh, it doesn't depend on any formal training so uh, knowledge can be acquired by themselves uh, knowledge knowledge can be acquired or gained without training so this is what it means um, is becoming obsolete and will become ever more so which means that the belief that uh, uh, the process of gaining knowledge is strongly associated with the training process is uh, going out the relationships of the suppliers and users of knowledge to the knowledge they supply and use is now tending and will increasingly tend to assume the form already taken by the relationship of commodity producers and consumers to the commodities they produce and consume that means knowledge is becoming a commodity commodity means something which can be bought and sold and can be uh, you know acquired by anyone um, if he has that uh, that power uh, that is the form of value so yes so knowledge is now being associated with value knowledge is and will be produced in order to be sold see is saying clearly that uh, it's being produced and sold so there's a value associated with it just like any other commodity and is and will be consumed in order to be valorized in a new production valorized means uh, valued you know something which uh, is assigned a value so uh, knowledge is assigned a value and that value is the value uh, which uh, is the um, you know price that the consumers pay and the uh, producers gain in both cases the goal is exchange so knowledge is exchanged and therefore it has value knowledge is exchanged between the producers and the consumers and it is exchanged based on value knowledge ceases to be an end in itself it loses its use value uh, so if knowledge is just gained for the heck of gaining knowledge then there is no uh, usefulness of that knowledge people are not, uh, unable to benefit from that so therefore knowledge has to be exchanged and it has to be exteriorized it has to be shared uh, and people have to you know buy that knowledge uh, with a value that could be a monetary value or you know something else but there will be an exchange value and uh, you know therefore it will be useful uh, 
for the people who, who are buying that knowledge or gaining that knowledge. So uh, we come to the end of the passage and what we have understood is that knowledge is undergoing a change. Um, everything is, uh, you know, getting translated into computer language and it is thus necessary for every one of us to understand that whatever knowledge we have, we have to be able to feed it to the computer in the language that they understand. And uh, this is based on certain rules and al algorithms. The machine decides uh, what it can take in and what it cannot. And therefore, uh, the concept of knowledge being uh, something uh, which was kept to a uh, uh, limited few earlier on is changing and everyone is uh, is and have to share their knowledge uh, through the uh, computer uh, computer languages and uh, um, therefore it is becoming a, a form of uh, commodity where it is uh, bought and sold through a value um, you know exchanged and therefore it is becoming useful to the consumers so this is uh, the essence of the passage and then we move to the questions the first question says which of the following statement best captures the essence of the passage so we just spoke about the essence of the passage uh, and uh, you know it is about uh, the fact that uh, uh, knowledge is becoming a commodity item it is uh, being commercialized um, there is a exchange happening uh, it is being produced and sold so this is the theme of the main theme of the passage so let's see what are the options the first one says knowledge shall no longer be evaluated by its truth but its commercial value this is correct knowledge is becoming a commodity item which is very clearly the running theme of the passage the main uh, uh, you know um, idea of the passage so it is uh, being evaluated based on its commercial value and you know usefulness so option a is definitely the correct one we have a look look at the other ones suppliers and users of knowledge have become its producers and consumers uh, yes uh, this is true but this is not the main theme of the passage so it is just one of the uh, you know statements that is uh, true for knowledge and it is also true for other things and it is not uh, what the passage is trying to tell us the third one says knowledge shall be exclusively produced to be sold uh, it is told that knowledge would be pr uh, produced to be sold uh, but the uh, the point of uh, you know the uh, usefulness of knowledge only when it is exchanged and used and this exchange happens through a value which is a commercial value is not coming out in this sentence so therefore this is not the best um, uh, sentence that captures the essence of the passage the fourth one says transition of knowledge into machine language exterior is is it it is true that uh, transition of knowledge into uh, exterior uh, into machine language uh, you know uh, shares it with uh, the rest of the world but this is not the the, the main theme of the passage this the main theme of the passage is that knowledge uh, is getting transformed and it is getting commoditized so that is the main theme so this is not the main theme and the last one market forces have taken over the process of knowledge production this is not uh, mentioned in the uh, passage at all so this is irrelevant not to be considered so of the uh, options we see that uh, the first option clearly brings out the point that uh, knowledge is uh, being evaluated based on its commercial value or exchange value which is the running theme of the passage and therefore this is the correct option we go to the next question which says based on the passage which of the following statements can be best inferred now inferred means something which is not directly told in the passage but which can be deduced based on the arguments uh, that are given so let's look at the options the first one says for knowledge to acquire an exchange value it should cease to have a use value no it is the opposite the, the moment it is exchanged then it uh, it goes to the consumer and he is able to use it so th therefore it has a use value so exchange value will always have a use value uh, the second one says mental discipline is not necessary for learning anymore this is nowhere mentioned in the passage so not correct uh, the third one says knowledge as a transactional commodity 
is indispensable to productive power. So it is a transactional commodity, but indispensable to productive power is not uh, uh, what is told in the passage. Um, it is told that it is becoming a transactional commodity. So this cannot be inferred from the passage. Then uh, the fourth option says acquisition of knowledge need no longer transform its recipients. This is correct because it is saying that uh, when you acquire knowledge, you want to you know use it out. You are not uh, acquiring knowledge to uh, to go through a, a process of internal transformation. No, you are you are acquiring knowledge. Uh, you know as a, a consumer and then you can you know uh, share it out to to another consumer as well without consuming uh, the knowledge yourself so therefore uh, acquisition of knowledge need no longer transform its recipient can be inferred from the passage and the last one says the locus of creation and accumulation of knowledge has shifted now this is a close one it is saying that uh, you know the locus of uh, uh, creation and accumulation of knowledge has shifted uh, from a previous view of uh, you know um, gaining knowledge for yourself to, to, to gaining knowledge for exchanging it commercializing it so that's a change in point of view but uh, this cannot be directly inferred from the passage okay so therefore option D which is clearly uh, something which we can uh, take out, take away from the passage because it's it's clearly saying that uh, you know knowledge is no longer being uh, gained only for the sake of gaining it. It is gained to be consumed and transmitted. So therefore, it need not need not uh, transform the recipient. Uh, the next question says, which of the following options? will the author agree the most with so let's see the first one says to get promoted an unpathetic manager can learn to display empathy yes definitely so he's saying that uh, you know knowledge can be acquired uh, without going through a, a formal training process you can do it on your own so if you want to learn something you can uh, gain that knowledge so this is true um, the second one says that a daughter of a lawyer must become a lawyer. No, he's not uh, saying that. He's saying that you know law can be the knowledge of law can be acquired by anyone else, or uh, you know put it uh, other way around. The daughter of a lawyer can decide to uh, become something else by acquiring that knowledge. So must become a lawyer is not uh, true in the context of the passage. Uh, option C says a person with no passion for singing, if trained will sing perfectly no it, it is saying the reverse it is saying you don't need training you can do it on your own and you can learn um, whatever you want to learn so this is not correct uh, then the next one says MBA program has high exchange value but zero use value this is not correct anything that has exchange value must have use value is what the passage is saying it is uh, being used after it is exchanged so this is not correct. So MBA program is one such thing which has both exchange value and use value. Uh, and the last one says to teach poetry, one must not be a poet. This is not correct because it is saying that in order to gain the knowledge, you can do it yourself. You don't have to dep depend on a training, but it is not saying that to, uh, you know, to give out that knowledge, you don't need to have that knowledge. So if you don't have the knowledge, you cannot give it out because it is clearly saying that you gain the knowledge and you uh, dissipate it, you exteriorize it, you you know translate it in in the form of uh, computer language and so on, which people can understand. But first, you have to acquire the knowledge. So, in order to teach poetry, you have to be a poet. Otherwise, you cannot teach poetry. So, therefore, this is not correct. So, the first one, which says that to get promoted. An unempathetic manager can learn to display empathy is correct because you can learn anything by your own. That is the theme that has been presented in the passage.